realistic as we could. Here we are. County morgue. The real banana. <laughs> hey, you check out from any unnatural or unexplained cause within the city limits, but you end up here. So the original idea was to shoot actually the pathology room in an empty hospital in downtown. And we got to a point where it was just costing us too much money to spend $15,000 a day for location. In the end, it turned out to be actually cheaper to actually go and build it on stage than to shoot it in a real place. It looks great. I mean, this is... It, it, you know, we went to the real pathology rooms or coroner's office and, and we saw, you know, all the stuff and this looks uh, very good, very accurate. Well, one of the first things that I loved about the script was the idea that there was both the old morgue and then there's the new pathology, which is where the, the students are teaching in the university context, which is modern and clean and sterile. And then the old creepy morgue that's 100 years old and abandoned is like, it's like a dream to do both sides. It was pretty great how, how Jerry, you know, the production designer and Eckhart sort of worked together and, and sort of, you know, helped light this movie together by production designing the old morgue and uh, the pathology rooms with the fluorescent lights. Uh, they, really, they really prepped this movie well and they thought ahead. You can't really take an hour to relight here and an hour to relight there. And the way Eckhart designed is the lighting concept, especially like for the, for, the, for the sets in the autopsy room and the sets in the old morgue was pretty much that it was lit and we just went in and shot as if it was available light. Eckhart is brilliant and I, I love, he's so fast and he works so well, but every time I design a set, one of the first things I'm thinking about is how will it be lit and how can I incorporate lighting into it? And I showed Eckhart the plans and he loved the idea of the fluorescent lights and pathology and in the old morgue we have the skylight above and the fluorescence around. It helps, it keeps, uh, it keeps a flow to everything. You know, you're not you're not waiting around. You don't if, if you're sitting in a in a scene with a heavy emotion, you don't need to carry it all day. You can actually uh, get along quickly. And I'm really impatient. I, I just love to shoot, and I think most of the time we shot about 40 setups a day, which is quite good. And Jerry, you know, you know, we got on stage, and he just put all this stuff together and made it look like you said, just as real as the real morgue or or the old morgue looked, uh, you know, m more real than what it would have been, you know. They've been, you know, meticulous about that all of this stuff looks real, you know, from the bodies, from the organs, from all of that stuff that we're, that we're you know, knee deep in all the time to, to then all of the scales and all of the, everything worked, everything. My first three, four films were with Robert Altman and he insisted and he was right to dress a set 360, you know, you don't just dress a desk, you dress all the drawers all the way inside the drawers. And if the actors can explore the set and make it real, it's just gonna improve the performances. They, they recreated a, a pathology room for us and they, they did it in such a way that we were free to walk over and grab, you know, grab a utensil and, or write something on a board or uh, just spill blood and shit everywhere. Jerry loves detail. It's just like it's, there's so much stuff, even like the, the towels, the, the paper towel dispensers were working. You would walk by them and all of it, you know, they had these sensors and they would just come out. And um, it was really great. And that's what's so great about it. It's not just like building a set and, you know, making the walls white or gray or whatever. But it's, I think the whole thing is about the details and making it as real as possible. And I think he did an awesome job with it. Let the lamp affix its beam. The only emperor is the emperor of ice cream. Mark brings us into this world in such a blunt manner uh, that I think is beautiful. And he treats the body as, as a beautiful and sacred thing in a way. The only aspect that I had was like, I didn't want it to go too much over the top. I didn't want it to be like, you know, out of place. It shouldn't feel campy. It should feel real. He sort of talked us through this naturalistic approach to pathology and we were, we were won over. I mean, we were won over so much that we decided we didn't need to direct this film. Watching his version of the movie, I think his version is truer to our script than our version would have been. Yeah. Because when you write something yourself, it's, you're so close to it that you have to keep surprising yourself and changing it around to kind of like keep yourself uh, inspired by the material. Whereas the script was fresh to him and he was trying to you know, unlock what was already there. So when I watched the movie, I think like, wow, we would have been the guys to come in and like change the whole script and fuck it up, but this is actually our script, you know? It's really fun to watch. This is a fan.